Hey everyone, it's Jenny Ferguson. I know a lot of you have been writing and asking if we're okay. So I am making this video so you know we are okay. Uh, we did wake up yesterday to sirens and lots of booms, uh, which in Jerusalem, which is near where we live near, near Jerusalem, is very rare. Uh, last time that happened in Operation Shomer uh, Chomot, Guardians of the Wall, Watchmen of the Wall, whatever they called it. But um, generally rare because firing on a nation's capital is uh, not really smart if you're trying to win international community approval. So uh, today so far has been quiet, but I didn't post yesterday for one because it was Shabbat for two because everything was so out of the blue. Um, that it was important for us to get our family together, make sure our team was okay and their families, uh, that's our first responsibility. And there were so many unknowns that I did not want to post uh, rumors and um, just commentary of, we don't really know what's going on, so uh, maybe we shouldn't say anything yet. But in any case, um, the morning started with the conversation of whether they had fired 2,500 rockets or 5,000 rockets because Hamas was saying 5,000 and Israel was saying 25. Uh, we did consider the fact that a lot of times Hamas fires rockets and they don't actually make it into Israel and they land on their own people. But within a few hours, we realized that that conversation wasn't even important because of everything else that was happening. Um, in the morning, the... Uh, I think they said over 200 terrorists made it into Israel, infiltrated the country by sea. Um, by, some of them paraglided in, uh, and a bunch of them came in on those tender um, pickup trucks with the guns on top. You know, the kind you see like in the wild, wild Middle East where there's uh, just absolutely, uh, this, never mind. I, I have a lot to say about that. But in any case, they brought that culture into our country, um, took bulldozers and ripped down um, the wall, the 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 fence, um, separation fence. And so, apparently, because a lot of people were trying to figure out what in the world and how did we not know about this? Because we have the um like the people that I don't know what they're called in English, um, that watch uh, and are supposed to be notified anytime there's a breach and um, the. What we're hearing right now is that that notifications, um, there was a cyber attack. And so the computers were not, the, the people responsible for being notified were not being notified by our technology. And so they made it in very far. There was a festival going on um, in the desert because it was the end of Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles. And so there was a lot of Israelis down south at this festival and you have to walk out to it. So it's even to leave is this long walk um, to get to the cars. And so uh, these terrorists drove up and just started firing at people, um, grabbed a bunch of others and pulled them back into Gaza. Um, women, children, um, foreigners. Um, I believe there were 17 citizens from Nepal that were taken as hostages into Gaza. Um, and then they went and uh, invaded our towns, our villages. This has just never happened on this level. I've been here, I was born and raised here and it, it, we've never had anything like this. Um, I don't think there's been, ever been anything like this in the entire modern existence of the state um, where this many people made it in this far and it took so long for us to, uh, we're still trying to um, find some of the terrorists that made it into the country. Um, so clearly they were helped from other countries and we will be addressing that as a nation rather quickly. Uh, I'm okay with not knowing. I know there's a lot of people that are trying to like say they have all this insider information. The less we're sharing publicly, the less the bad guys know. So I know that um, a lot of you are curious, but I would be cautious about some of the information that you're getting where everybody has this insider information because A, if you have insider information, you should be sharing it. And B, likely if you're sharing it and someone else was sharing it, it's entirely made up. So um, that's 
that's really not important. What is important is being supportive of uh, our country right now and not trying to figure out who made what mistake. Um, I, it, one thing I really love about our country, because if you've watching, been watching anything since January, all the protests, we've been on the streets and the government has just been fighting itself and the people have been upset about all this political uh, stuff. But the second we are attacked from the outside, we know how to put that aside and they're trying to form an emergency government at this point. And that is something that we're able to do because we understand that if we self-destruct on the inside, if we can't get along, we can't fight our enemy. And there we have a lot of enemies and a lot of people that want to see us gone. So in the meantime, in terms of numbers, they're changing all the time. The most recent is uh, more than 350 confirmed dead. That number is going to go up. I heard there was over 700 missing. Um, and obviously almost 2,000 um, wounded uh, checked into hospitals. That's where that number is coming from. So, But a lot of numbers being thrown around. Less important uh, to me, A, because they're going to change, and B, because we're still in the middle of this. The part right now that is difficult are, are the kidnappings because that can be drawn out for years in terms of trying to get them back. There were children that were kidnapped and they're making videos of, of uh, Gazan children harassing and bullying Israeli children that were kidnapped and making fun of them for calling their mother for, for their mother. And I think even on a basic level as a parent, watching other parents teaching their kids to bully kidnapped children is vile on a on a on so many different levels um but um anyway i have a lot more to say i'm gonna leave it at this because i know a lot of you are waking up and you had asked for something before your morning services and so i'm making this for you but uh i'll i'll be getting on facebook live at maoz israel m-a-o-z Israel, I-S-R-A-E-L, look us up on Facebook and I'll do a Facebook Live, answer any of the questions that you have and we can take more time doing that. Um, but um, yeah, it's a, it's a black day in history. Um, I actually had a very eerie dream in May and I just found the recording of it yesterday um, and really been pondering uh, the accuracy of, of it is heavy. So, um, but a lot of our team has been called up and uh, in fact, I don't even know anybody that's in the reserves that hasn't been called up. Um, so if you'll be praying for the children of the families who uh, now whose parents are going to fight um, our team is going to be much smaller um, at least either either our workers or their spouses are are being called up um, so that means some of our projects are going to change the the models Israel report um, topic is going to change um, so keep um, Keep us in your prayers. Keep our nation in your prayers. I will give more details tonight. 6 p.m. Israel time. Look it up on the internet as to what time that is where you are. And um, feel free to ask what what um, uh, what questions you have, and I'll give you more more prayer more prayer points. But um, very difficult morning. Um, difficult 24 hours. And yet. We will be here, no matter what happens. Our nation has faced worst enemies and uh, we always end up still here. I know it is very disappointing to the nations who don't like that, but um, it is what it is. To quote Mark Twain, everything is mortal but the Jew.